Hello boys and girls and welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to explain our new vocabulary words of the new story Weird Friends. We will also discuss a very very important skill that Miss Tina tells you about every time we introduce new words, which is the skill of context clues. So what are context clues? Context clues are hints, clues, or information around a sentence or around a passage that help me understand what a word means, a word that I don't know what it means. These clues help me understand what this word means. So just like a detective, we have to use clues or hints. There are words or phrases around and familiar words that can help us understand the meaning of a word. These words or phrases are called context clues. Context comes from the word text, and clues are hints. So we look around the sentence or the paragraph to know what a word means. A word that I don't know what it means, I use the clues or hints around it to know what it means. Learning how to use these clues can help us understand the meaning of the word, help us to understand the reading, improve our vocabulary, and save us from using Google or the dictionary. Context clues are words that say stop. Don't touch that dictionary. The definition of the word you don't know is right here in the text. So again, context clues are clues, hints, or information a reader can get from reading that helps show what a word or a group of words mean. Just like a mystery, you use the clues to find the answer. The main context clues we are going to focus on for today are synonyms, which are words that share the same meaning, antonyms, which are opposites, uh, we're going to use definitions of words as well as explanation. Now, sometimes uh, a word's explanation is provided within the sentence itself to help you understand it. But before we introduce the new vocabulary words, I want us to play a little game. I want you to work like a detective to make a guess based on the information that you know in the text. I have two prepared paragraphs or passages for you. I'm going to read them. And in the meantime, I want you to guess what word I am referring to. So let's start. A hop, skip, and a jump. Who am I? I'll tell you about the career that I chose. It definitely keeps me on my toes. I've been practicing since a very young age. Now I travel around and perform on the stage. I'm graceful and pretty but I'm also real strong. My body is thin and my legs are quite long. I often wear pink and love satin and lace. Watch me twirl, flirt, and flutter all over the place. Who am I? Hmm, well, it's the ballerina. Good job. Over here, we use the clues to know what person or what career we are referring to. Number two, hot shot, who am I? Try to guess. A lot of kids think that they want to be me. Danger is my best friend and my enemy. When I'm summoned to duty, I'm often alarmed. Still, I help lots of people stay safe and unharmed. I wear a cool hat and a raincoat and boots, which I'd much rather wear than some stuffy old suits. My truck makes loud noises when I drive down the street. It's a lot of fun, but I still take lots of heat who am i pause the video and try to guess if you said that it's a firefighter then good job your answer is correct you see how we used the clues or the hints in the text to help me know which person i'm referring to or which career i am uh, referring to well done we call these clues i use the clues or the hints in the passage to help me know who I am referring to. Now let us introduce our new vocabulary words of the week. And we will also uh, talk about context clues through the words. The first word we have here is predators. Predator, a predator is an animal that lives by killing and eating other animals. Now, of course, a deer or a rabbit, they are not predators. Okay? Uh, because they only feed on uh, fruits, vegetables, they don't feed on other living things. That's why they are prey and not predators. A predator is a tiger, a lion, a bear, these animals who feed on other living things. Here's a sentence. A tiger is a predator. However, a deer is a prey. 
which context clue did I use in the sentence to help me figure out what the word predator means? Well, I know that a tiger and a deer, a deer are both animals, but they don't. what they eat is not in common between the two of them. A tiger eats meat and a deer feeds on uh, fruits, vegetables, grasses, and so on. So which context clue did I use? Antonyms, good job. The word predator and prey are antonyms. They are opposites. Moving on to the next word. Protection. Protection is preservation from injury or harm. A thing, a person, or group that protects. Here's a sentence. The police provided protection for the president. They guarded and protected him. Which context clue? Did I use in this sentence? I'm going to read it again. The police provided protection for the president. They guarded and protected him. Hmm. Come on. Think third graders. Did I use synonyms, words that have the same meaning? Did I use antonyms, opposites? Did I give further explanation? Well done. I provided an explanation for the word protection by saying they guarded and protected the president. Good job. So this was my context clue in the sentence. I provided an explanation on the word protection. Moving on to the word immune. Immune means having a high degree of resistance to a disease, okay? To have a strong body that is able to fight diseases, okay? Here's a sentence. Our bodies will be immune or protected from diseases if we eat healthy and exercise three times a week. So, which context clue did I use in this sentence? Think, did I use antonyms, opposites? Did I use a definition of the word immune? What do you think, third graders? Which clue did I use in this sentence? Excellent, I used synonyms. Because the words immune and protected have the same meaning. So they are synonyms. They share the same or a similar meaning well done moving on to the word species species or species is a group of similar living things having some common characteristics or qualities here's a sentence rhino species who are mammals that share the same characteristics are west african now which Context clue did I use in the sentence? Again, here's the sentence again. Rhino species who are mammals that share the same characteristics are West African. Which context clue did we, did we use in the sentence? Um, did we use antonyms, opposites? Did we use a definition for the word species in the sentence? Did we use an explanation? What do you think, third graders? Species, look at the sentence that came after it. Who are mammals that share the same characteristics? Well done to the students who said that I used a definition. Good job. The definition is right next to the word species. So this is the clue that helped me understand what the word species mean. Lastly, we have emerges. Emerges means to appear by coming out of something or out from behind something. Here's a sentence. The sun emerged or appeared from behind the clouds. Now, as you see, the words emerged and appeared are synonyms. They are words that share the same meaning. So the context clue that helped me understand what the word emerged means in the sentence is the word appeared. Good job, third graders. Well done. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Have a great day.